What's going on guys? So today I just want to share a couple different new battle song models that I've gotten since my collection update video. I also want to just kind of get into the topic of battle songs and why people have them. Um, there's a variety of battle songs here that I have for different purposes. So first off, we'll talk about them real quick here. This is a Crake Raken, all right, from Squid Industries. A very interesting battle song. Um, I was most interested in this because people talked about how awesome it was to flip. Of course, this is latchless, which I'm not used to. The second I took it out of the box, I cut myself probably with literally within 30 seconds. Um, just did a quick little combo and felt the edge. Didn't see any blood right away. And then, you know, after a minute or two, it started to seep through. Um, extremely sharp, extremely flippable. Beautiful, beautiful knife. I'll do a separate video on this in the future. Um, but the reason I got that one was for flipping. All right. The next one here is an Atropos knife. This one is the uh, Pirat Light, is what I want to say. It's maybe Pirate. It's spelled P-I-R-A-T. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure if you know if that's how it's properly pronounced, but I'm going to go with Pirat. But anyway, the reason I got this one is for utility work. This is an excellent bow song to actually carry and use. This one has a pocket clip on here. All right, it is called the light because it is very light with the carbon fiber handles. We get a close up on that blade. Beautiful profile here. This is a very usable bow song. It's not just for flipping, it's very much for using, as well as this one was. But anyway, that's the reason why I was interested in this particular model was for utility work, right? To actually use the thing, not just flip it. Next, we have the very brand new, very exciting Kershaw Lucha. This is their 5150 model. Um, when I heard this was released, I knew eventually I would get one. I actually just got this yesterday, so I'm not too familiar with it. I do have some you know, different thoughts about it, but I'll do a separate video on this in the future after I get you know, more use on it and actually cutting things as well as flipping. Uh, right now, I was just playing around with it flipping, but love that blade style. There is something that bothers me on this knife which you can or cannot guess, who knows. <laughs> if you happen to have this already, let me know in the comment section what you may not like about it. There's just one thing, it's a, a little bit of a pet peeve, but overall, I'm very excited to see Kershaw actually has a Balasol model out there now. So they've uh, definitely dipped their toes into the water, and I would love to see more in the future. Uh, but the purpose of this one, not only because I'm interested, I wanted to add it to my actual collection because it is their first, it will be historic, you know, in, in Balasol history anyway, Kershaw's first. Um, but it's also a very usable knife, all right? The next one here is the Master from Taylor Seto. All right, this is an 80s style battle song, super cool. Uh, did a separate video, you probably already saw the other video I did on this. This is part of a, uh, a trade, but these look like double pens, okay? So when it's in the pocket, you'd have no idea this is a knife. Even if they're separated, there's no blade there because it's nice and short, hidden in the top portion, okay? So that's essentially the knife. We just have extended handles, all right, which are to trick whoever happens to be looking. Right? It's none of their business. Uh, but anyway, the purpose of this was not, it's not an excellent flipper, it's not an excellent user. This is purely for collections. All right, that is a collector's battle song to me. Of course you can carry it, you can use it, can flip it. Uh, but for me, it has a lot of collector's value and a lot of history. Absolutely love it. Now this last one here is really interesting because I didn't even know it existed. I had a viewer who follows me on Instagram ask me if I ever used a spasm fingers trainer. And I was like, what? I never even heard of it. So there's someone who goes by the name Spasm Fingers, and he does uh, modifications and stuff, and very much into flipping, and he makes these trainers. Now on the website, if you Google Spasm Fingers, Battle Song, uh, he sells them for like 30 bucks, all right? So I thought it was very interesting. The person wanted me to check it out. It was very, very nice of him to, uh, to send this for me to check out. Um, you know, it's pretty cool. I mean, for 30 bucks, I haven't used it all that much, so it's not really a review, but kind of hard to beat that price if you wanted something uh, you know, to train with. It is super, super lightweight. Um, you know, you can see it's a flexible plastic for the blade, so maybe not the most uh, sturdy. Uh, this has taken a couple drops since, you know, me screwing around with it and hasn't broken yet. Uh, but I thought that was really, really cool. So the purpose of this would literally be for training, for playing around. It's just kind of a fun toy. But anyway, the point of the video was a little bit of a teaser because I will do separate videos on all three of these. You will see the Kershaw Lucha in a separate review in the future. You'll see the Atropos Knife uh, Parat Light, and you will also see the Kraken Raken uh, review a little bit down the road here. Just want to use them a little bit more. Not necessarily just flipping. Obviously, the biggest point in a Bao Song review for a lot of people is its flippability because that's what people want to do. They want to flip around, they want to learn new tricks and stuff. But for me, I'm taking a little bit more approach towards the usability, all right? Obviously, I'm going to focus on flipping, but I also want to actually use these knives and see how they perform, uh, particularly this Kershaw. Very, very excited about that. But the point of this video was to get your feedback. I know there's a lot of people out there who are into battle songs now or butterfly knives, as some people know them, 
Um, I just think that the, the community has grown substantially. There's so many people all around the world who love flipping these, but I'm wondering who else uses them? Who else carries them and who else just collects them? Gets old ones like this. Just kind of curious. So let me know down below if you have ballast songs, a ballast song or a hundred ballast songs, why do you have them? Just curious. I'd love to know. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.